Hi everyone. In this video, we are discussing a problem, a SQL problem from HackerRank, and it's a problem based on basic join and the problem title is the report. It's a medium level problem. Let's read the problem statement. You are given two tables. One is uh, students and the other one is grades. And students contains three columns. They are ID, that's student ID, and the name of the student, and the marks obtained by the student. So you can clearly see the schema for the table students here. Okay, so ID is given, that is an integer, and name is a string, and marks is another integer. Now there is another table given, grades, and you can see something strange here. They didn't give us the schema of this uh, table grades because this table is going to act more like a uh, like a reference table, not in the sense of foreign reference, not in that particular sense, okay? So this table is just for our reference. It's not like we are going to join this table with the, the students table. Even if we want to join, like how exactly are we going to join? Like on what column we're going to join? We don't have a common column. Here we have ID, name, and marks. Here we have min mark, max mark, and grade. That min mark, max mark is the range that they have given for each and every grade. If a student's uh, mark is ranging from 0 to 9, inclusive of both 0 and 9, then we'll give a grade of 1. For example, if another student's uh, marks it's ranging from 70 to 79, again, inclusive of both, then we'll give that student a grade of 8, so on, okay? So this is acting more like a reference table. So we're not, or even if we want to, we cannot uh, that easily combine uh, this grades table and uh, students table. Yeah, we can do some sort of uh, cross join. They call it like Cartesian join. We can do all those things, but it won't make any sense at all. There is no need to join these two tables in order to solve this problem. Okay, so let's see how to solve it. Okay, so they have given students and grades. And here comes a very lengthy story. I mean, this is where they are defining the constraints, like, you know, uh, what are the constraints and what we are supposed to do, all that is given here. Yeah. Ketty gives Eve a task to generate a report containing three columns. Okay, so what are they? Name, grade, and mark. Name can be pulled out from the student's table. Marks can also be pulled out from the uh, student's uh, table. And grade will, of course, come from the grades table, right? And how exactly we're going to achieve this even without joining them, okay? Ketty doesn't want the names of those students who received a grade lower than eight, right? So they don't want to publish the names of the students who got, uh, you know, grades lower than eight, okay? So they might be publishing their marks, their grades, everything, but it will be anonymous. Only for lower grades, they are not going to publish the name, okay? So the report must be in descending order by grade, okay? That makes sense. Uh, that is higher higher grades are entered first. Okay, that makes perfect sense because we want to immediately identify the top performers. Okay, so it's better to put the uh, the grade in descending order. And if there is more than one student with the same grade in the range of eight to ten, only for the students whose uh, you know grades are in this particular range of eight to ten, only then we are publishing their names, right? So if uh, two students or two or more students are having a tie in their grade. In that case, we are going to, uh, in that case, we are going to order them alphabetically. We are going to, the, the first ordering is going to be based on their grade only. We are going to write the grades in descending order. But if there is a tie, in that case, we will have to, you know, sort it out by writing the names of the students uh, alphabetically. Okay. And finally, if the grade is lower than eight, like I told you, like it was mentioned before, if the grade is lower than eight, they are not going to publish their names. Instead, they are going to simply publish uh, and, you know, print null in that particular cell. They're going to print null as the name. Okay. And uh, again, the, the rest of the story is very, very similar. We are going to write the grades in descending order. Now here, what are we supposed to do if there is a tie between grades of two students? Previously, if there is a tie between grades of two students, when the, the grades are in the range of 8 to 10, if there is a tie between the grades of two students, we will sort it out by writing their names alphabetically. Here, you don't have names. So there is no question of writing the names alphabetically. Okay. So if there is a tie between two students whose grades are in this range, we will fix it by writing the marks of the students in ascending order. Okay. So these are, this entire thing is the 
problem statement like requirement we will have to write a query to help eve to complete this task right okay so sample input is given uh, this is the students table you can see that id column name column marks column julia 88 samantha 68 so on it goes on okay and the sample output is like this okay so three space separated outputs right the first one is the name the second one is the grade and the third one is the uh, marks obtained okay and uh, you can clearly see that it is in the descending order of grades okay and you can see that there is a tie between the grades of the second and third student therefore it is arranged alphabetically jane and then julia okay and here you can see that there is a tie between these two students so the marks are arranged in ascending order right okay so print null whenever the grade is okay that is already mentioned and the explanation is yeah just now whatever i told you that is the explanation okay okay fine so this is the problem let's try to solve it so um, we will select we need to output what name grade and marks okay so name like i told you will pull it out from the students table we are just taking the name from the students table and grade we will have to somehow figure it out okay uh, don't take it literally i'm not i'm not done with this let me let me comment it out okay so grade is something we need to work on we'll we'll figure it out in a while okay because it it's in it's lying in a different table okay and then marks okay so how to obtain the marks you can directly pull out the marks from the the same students uh, table right so i wrote down name then grade then marks so name and marks they both are pretty straightforward we will have to directly pull it from the uh, students uh, table even there there is a, a layer of complexity because when it comes to name we are not always printing the name i told you that we will never publish the names of the students whose uh, grade is less than eight right so it is not just names you cannot simply display names all the time so there also we will have to you know insert a, a conditional statement in that name column we will have to put some condition okay so we'll get there okay so that we will take care of it later marks we don't have to do anything at all marks is marks that's it no terms and conditions we can just directly take the marks and grade what are we supposed to do to find grade here we are going to write a sub query right we have to select the grade from the grades table so how exactly we are going to select you see uh we could have done something like uh we, we don't even have to actually speaking we don't even have to make use of the grades table right we can completely do away with the grades table we can just look at it for reference but otherwise without calling that grades table we can simply solve the problem by using uh, a case statement the only headache is you will have to write multiple when then conditions multiple like you know 10 when then conditions you will have to write and that is going to get a bit cumbersome so let's let's not do it okay so you will have to write 10 statements let's not do it so that is why i prefer doing this sub query right so we are going to select grade from grades table we, we will have to select grades from grades table uh what is the condition we will of course have to do some kind of filtering right where the condition is what's the condition if the students mark is belonging to the range of 0 to 9 it is 1 if it is belonging to the range of 10 to 19 it is 2 20 to 29 it is 3 so on so how to uh, express it mathematically right you can write it like this min mark less than or equal to marks obtained by that particular student and the mark obtained by that particular student is in turn less than or equal to max mark okay so whenever this condition is satisfied we are going to select the grade from that particular row whenever this condition is satisfied which condition the students marks uh, being less than or equal to the maximum mark and greater than or equal to minimum mark okay these two inequalities put together this compound inequality tells us uh, it belongs to which interval 0 to 9 or 10 to 19 20 to 29 so on it will tell us uh, the students marks is belonging to which interval so once you lock that particular interval we are going to select only the grade from that particular row right so we are selecting only grade so that is the required grade okay so now we have what the name of the student taken from the students table and here we are doing another query in order to get the appropriate grade by using this component inequality and then marks like i told you it's a very straightforward thing okay so yeah there is some progress 
yeah now like i told you we don't want to simply write the name print the name all the time okay we don't want to print the name all the time so here we are going to uh, you know put some if condition right if a certain condition is true only then we will print the name of the student otherwise we'll print null right okay so what is the condition the condition is the grades must be greater than or equal to 8 in the second uh, row we had that query to get the grades right the grades must be greater than or equal to 8 under that condition only we are going to print out the name of the student whenever that condition is not met we are going to print null did you get this okay so now where are we pulling all these uh, data from the information from from students table like i told you okay and that is not all what else we are going to do here we are pulling all these data from the students table and we will have to do some sort of ordering right uh, it's given over here yeah we will have to write them based on the descending order so what are the things that we have done so far this is the query that is going to give us the grade and the exact same thing we copy pasted over here and we just imposed one condition that it has to be greater than or equal to 8 because only when that condition is true we are going to print out the student's name otherwise we are going to print out null and this is pretty straightforward we are simply directly pulling out the marks from the the student's table okay so the only last bit of thing that we work that we are supposed to do is to order things right so we will have to use order by order by what so please understand there are three components here this whole thing is the name part alone this whole thing is the grades alone this is marks right so we are ordering by grades okay so let me just put number two i'll simply refer to it by number two it means out of the three things the first thing is the name the second thing is the grade and the third thing is the marks okay we are ordering by grades that is how you interpret it okay so and don't forget that it has to be a descending order because we want to uh, put top grades uh, first right okay it has to be descending order and whenever there is a tie between the grades we will have to try to sort it out by uh, you know writing the names in alphabetical order if that is also not working because uh, if the grades are low the name itself is not there it will be just null okay so there is no question of sorting it out uh, alphabetically in that case we will sort it out by the marks you get the idea right so two represents the second item that we are selecting which is the grade so we are basically sorting it by grade in descending order okay whenever it's descending you have to mention it's descending otherwise by default it will be ascending and if that is not working there is second level of sorting that is ordering that is uh, ordering by one what is the first element that is name that is going to be alphabetical order if that is also failing then there is third level of ordering that is ordering by three the third item is what marks okay that's it i think this should work let's test our code great it worked let's actually submit our code and see if it's accepted excellent our solution is uh, accepted and I hope that you found this particular video useful. Thank you for watching.